So we're here for my muse, for my creative year, April 2019. I should be doing a lot of other things, but my muse is screaming in my brain again. So I have my two Ikea carts at the end of my work table. I've had them there since I moved in in September. To be perfectly frank, it's not really working for me. But I wasn't sure what to do about it until a few minutes ago, and now my muse is screaming at me to fix it. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to go dig something out of the spare closet that we have Christmas decorations and stuff in. And I'm going to see what I can do to fix it. And I'm going to speed through the process and I'll be right back. Okay, well I don't know that that's going to make a big difference. I do know that although I love my Ikea carts, they're really pretty. If you have one, you know the bottom two shelves are really hard to get stuff out of. And right now, this month, my muse is screaming at me to make art but make it easy. So we'll try the wire shelf and some baskets for a while. Don't worry, I'm not getting rid of the Ikea carts. They're in the other room in the spare closet. We'll leave them in there for right now. They're being useful holding <coughs> my hoard of storage supplies. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. Shh. <laughs> so we're gonna try this for right now and we're gonna see what happens. I have an empty shelf right there, right there, that I can, when I'm not journaling, bin some of this up and put it down there. I am gonna go get another white bin and put it there. I also have, on the other side of the paint brushes, there's a spot to put the journals I'm currently working in. I think it's gonna work a little better for me, but we're gonna try it. Do I wish the black shelf was white or blue? Yes, but I got the black one. I can't really justify going to buy one just because it's a different color. Okay, so this is a little bit I'm going to edit into the My Muse video 
And you'll notice that the shelf is white. <laughs> so yes, the shelf worked out fabulously. I had it here for a few days, the black one. Um, but I really was bothered by the fact that it was black and also I missed having a shelf in the spare room closet. The two carts just didn't work for me there holding my spare storage um, baskets and bins and things. Um, so I put the black shelf back in the spare closet with that stuff on it and I got a white one for here. They happened to be on sale at Target when I bought it so that was a good thing. And then I posted something to Facebook about what to do with the Ikea carts. So they do have sentimental value from the old house and the old studio space. I do really love them. They just don't work the same way here that they did there. So, you know, but they do, but I don't, I don't want to get rid of them. So I did post something to Facebook. And of course, I'm, I am um, interested in your comments below of what you think other places, not only in the art room, but in the house that I could use them. Um, I don't think they're going to work downstairs for my downstairs art stuff. It's just, that would be just too much stuff. I'm interesting, interested in less things around and not more things. Um, so, but I was telling my husband all this and he had a brilliant idea. So hang on. So this is my painting corner. And I already had, of course, my easel here and my round table where my water sits and that's where my brushes and inspiration photos are when I'm painting. He said, why don't you use one of the carts over there for your rags and things? And then my um, flat palette, um, AKA cutting board with parch parchment paper, fits across the top and I can hide things underneath it like inspiration photos when I'm not actually working on something. Um, that's gonna, I think, work really well. And then I have, hang on, I don't want to make anybody sick, but there's my bin for the dirty rags. So whether I'm at the easel or at the table, when I get a rag that's just way past it needs to be cleaned, I can just stick it in there. That works. So then for the other one, we're going to use it over here, or we're going to try anyway. So I was able to get some of the office supplies off the floor, which I love because it makes cleaning the floor easier. And the cart now has, on the bottom it has sort of, storage containers for planners, planner stuff. So like um, zipper pockets and um, spare paper and stuff like that. And then we have computer paper, uh, sorry, printer paper and card stock, printer card stock, and then all my different Avery labels and my little thank you notes and stuff like that. That's gonna actually work really well, I think. So we're gonna try it there and we'll see what happens. I may need to move these paintings up just a little bit. So I think I have to go downstairs and get some command strips, but otherwise I think it's looking great. So that's it for now. Now back to the other video. I hope this gives you some ideas of maybe what you can do in your space to maybe solve a problem this month. If your muse is screaming at you that you need to get back to making art and you need to make it easy on yourself, listen to her. Maybe she actually knows what she's talking about, maybe. If you're not part of my creative year and you'd like to be, it's a Facebook group where we talk about art and art journaling. We give prompts and tutorials. It's free. The link is in the description below, so check it out. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, shop in my Etsy store, my Amazon store, buy my book, buy my rubber stamps, support the free content here on YouTube by joining Patreon or putting something in my tip jar. All those links are in my link tree, which is also in the description below. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Listen to your muse. She may actually know what she's talking about. And go out and have a great day. And do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.